What's up everybody? Welcome back to another Molt Man episode. Hope you are all having a great week. Today I'm with my wife's grandpa and uh, we are at the new deer lease. We brought the old Can-Am. We're gonna set some feeders. Uh, not set feeders, we're actually just gonna set bow blinds um, and put out some cameras, see what's out here. So this place I got through uh, my guys over at Brace Built. If y'all haven't checked them out, go check them out. They built me that awesome 308 that y'all saw me shoot that pig with. And I'm taking it on an elk hunt with Richard himself this year too. So we're gonna be shooting that today too. But uh, this is a huge place and there's deer crawling everywhere. So I'm gonna be able to come out here and um, a lot of meat in the freezer. We're gonna do some cool hunts out here this year with the air gun. We're gonna do some crossbow hunting and of course bow hunting. So. We're gonna get this old Can-Am unloaded and uh, go right around. We're gonna go check everything out first and then uh, we're gonna decide where we're gonna put our, uh, our bow blinds and set some corn out with some cameras just to see what's coming. They haven't filled all the feeders yet. Uh, I think he's coming this next Saturday to fill all the feeders with corn. So uh, I just wanna see what's out here, see what we're working with and uh, it's gonna be an awesome deer season. I can't wait. Can't forget to bring this bad boy. Hopefully, uh, hopefully we run into a few pigs. But definitely bringing this. Tell me that ain't the sexiest gun you've ever seen. Richard, Richard, yeah. loading the shotgun. You gotta shoot some dove. Sure. Sure. Hopefully we can run across some dove. Shoot some dove for dinner. How old is that gun? I don't know, it's a Weatherby 12 gauge shotgun. How long have you had it? Uh, I don't know, 20 years. <laughs> uh, haven't used it much. When's the last time you used it? Uh, well, I mostly hunted with a Remington 1100. And I can't tell that this is any better than it. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, figure out how to get in this thing. All right. Off we go. All right, so just got the first tree stand hung. Um, there's not many trees to choose from out here, so Richard's, uh, I'll help you when I get down there, I'll pull it down. We gotta trim these right here. I'll have to bring the pole saw to trim that up a little bit, but it is a really close shot. It's probably only a 12 yard, 12 yard shot. Um, I like it though, I like this setup. Just filled, uh, put a bag of feed in the, put a bag of corn in the feeder and set the camera up right there in that tree. So I'm gonna come back in a week, see what's on it. But we still got a couple more stands to hang. So I like it. I think, I think something's gonna die out of this tree this year. All right, one down. There you go. I gotta figure that out. <laughs> On to the next one. All right, feeder number two has no feeder pin and there are cows in here. So the only reason why I really wanna put some corn in here and throw a camera up is to see how many pigs come in here. Cause I really wanna shoot some pigs with my bow this year. Um, so we're just gonna throw a bag of corn in. I'll put a camera up probably on that tree or that tree and then 
when we come back here next week and check it we'll see what we have i'm sure deer there's deer tracks everywhere with pig tracks as well so um i like it i like this spot let me get it That'll work. Y'all are probably wondering why I didn't do that, but he wouldn't let me do it even if I tried. He well, broke his neck two years ago. And he's well, the throwing... problem is, he doesn't know as much as I do. <laughs> I'm the man that taught him everything he knows. That's so. what he said. <laughs> oh, but yeah, so you broke your back two years ago on a four-wheeler in Montana. Yeah, my neck. Your neck, not your back. Yeah. But you're lucky to be walking. Well, I've had some other breaks too. Yeah. Well, I'm good to go now. Yep. So, we gotta go. Well, we're gonna put this camera up real quick. And then we're gonna find one more spot to go set another camera up, throw another bag of feed out, and, uh, and that'll wrap it up. Well, guys, it is the next morning. Uh, I am sitting out here at the house. Dove hunting using the old little 410 today. Um, I just got out here. Ryder was uh, crying last night, so I got up a little late. It's 7.30 right now. Sun came up about 30, 40 minutes ago, so uh, I just got out here. I haven't seen a single bird yet, but they usually fly uh, pretty late here anyway. So, so sorry I didn't get to show y'all everything yesterday. Um, I was trying to get in and out pretty quick. Um, I found out that down on the river they were actually filming an episode of Naked and Afraid. So um, me and Richard went down off a beaten path uh, down a road that I've never been down. This was really like the first time I'd have been out there um, without the guys from Brace Built showing me where to go. And I went down a road that I'd never been on. I knew it was part of the property though because I didn't have to go through any gates or anything and it went straight down to the river and there was like three really nice vehicles down there i was like well this is weird why is there like a g-wagon a jeep truck and then like a nice gmc or something and i called gabe from brace Bill. he's like oh man i forgot to tell you they're filming an episode of naked in the fray so good thing we didn't run into a naked dude walking down the trail uh setting feeders and trail cams but uh, i cannot wait to hunt there this year I am going back next week. I'm going to check the cameras that I did set. So I'm going to do a little update video on that place uh, next week. And um, we'll do like a progression video and see what kind of deer we can get to come in. And uh, I think it's going to be awesome hunting season out there. There's tons of deer. I'm not saying there's any giants out there, but there's tons of deer. Um, and it'll be, oh, there goes four right there, right over the trees. Oh, if they'd have flown over me, I'd have killed them. So yeah, um, I'll be doing a lot of hunting out there this year. And maybe possibly do a, uh, a deer hunt giveaway with Brace Built. We'll see. I got to talk to them. I'm sure they're up for it. But uh, y'all leave in the comments what y'all would think about a uh, hunt giveaway. So I'm going to sit here and see if I can't shoot a few dove. Uh, I'll probably sit here for an hour or so. But I want to roll some footage from last night. I went pig hunting with the Airgun and the Pulsar XQ50 LRF. And uh, we got on some pigs. But uh, let me roll this and show you what happened. We're going to do a little pig hunting with the old Texan 50 cal. Um, same one I shot the Oryx with. And we have the Pulsar XQ50 LRF. And we are going to see if we can't go get on some pigs tonight. Trey needs some meat for his freezer. He's completely out. So we're going to try to get him some meat to fill the freezer tonight. See if we can't get a pig and uh, go just check every feeder and uh, see if there's any pigs eating. It's pretty cool here in Texas for what it's been in the past couple months. Um, so the pigs are really out moving. So let's get after it and uh, hopefully we can find some. Going Texas style. Yeah.
So I was pretty frustrated. Uh, that's why there's no footage after the fact. We did not find the pig. Um, it's kind of hard to see in the video. I'm not sure it, uh, the pig didn't squeal or anything, so I don't know if I even hit it. Um, you can kind of see one of the branches break, but it's really hard to tell. Um, didn't find any blood or anything like that. So I really don't know, but I'm gonna go back out this week to try to kill a pig with the air gun. I know y'all wanna see that. So I'm gonna try to do a pig hunting video with the air guns. Hopefully we can get some on. So I'm gonna finish uh, this little dove hunt off. Hopefully some birds fly, um, but I'm getting ready for elk season coming up. I'm headed to Colorado very soon. So y'all stay tuned for those videos. I'm gonna try to get out and go fishing this week as well. Um, so y'all leave it in the comments what y'all would like to see fishing, hunting, and what kind of fishing and hunting y'all would like to see. Um, until next time, make sure y'all share with family and friends. Hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, and remember, eat good.